National Police Spokesperson Brigadier Fish Naidu said a child positively identified the four Moti brothers, which led to the boys reuniting with their family three weeks after they were kidnapped. Speaking to ENCA, Naidu said the boys were dropped off in Vuwani on last night, just over 100 kilometers from their home in Limpopo. He said the boys were dropped off between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. in Vuwani. They made their way to the first house they found, and fortunately, one of the child in that house immediately recognized the children as being the four boys reported missing or abducted. They asked their parents to assist by calling the police, and they were able to reunite the children with their parents, he said. In an earlier statement, Naidu said Ziyan, Alan, Zayed, and lead to Zidane, Moti, were on their way to school in Polokwane at about 7 a.m. on Wednesday, October 20, when they were taken at gunpoint by their abductors. He said a group of men with rifles and handguns cornered their vehicle and forcefully removed them. On Wednesday night, the police in Vuwani received a call from a local resident saying that the children arrived at their house, saying they were dropped off on a nearby road, he said. Nayudu said Subs arranged a doctor who confirmed that the children are in good health before they were handed over to their parents. The children also appeared to be in high spirits during the reunion with their parents. The children have not yet been interviewed. Investigators will arrange for the SAPS psychologist to assist with that, Naidu said. He said police are investigating a case of kidnapping. Generally, in a live kidnapping case, we never speak about it in fear for this potentially placing the lives of the children at risk. But I can tell you now that we are still investigating a case of kidnapping, he said. Police are appealing to anyone who can assist with information that will help bring the kidnappers to book to contact the police. The Moti family has meanwhile thanked the South African community for their prayers. We are thankful that they were set free and when we received a phone call to fetch the children, we rushed to the scene full of hope. All of South Africa supported us and we want to thank one and one of Uyu for the support and kind prayers. We are looking forward to healing as a family and we appreciate some privacy for a while. We will talk to the media within a few days, the family member said.